The Nigerian Senate is bothered about the inadequate commitment of the federal government to the funding for the prevention and treatment of persons living with HIV. The Senate, via a motion raised by Senator Chukuka Utaze, said Nigeria's HIV prevalence rate has dropped in the last few years despite a reduction of funding for the prevention and treatment of HIV from development partners. Senator Utaze said there is a need for the federal government to seize the initiative and support persons living with HIV while improving support for the National Agency for the Control of HIV. AIDS, NACA, to help prevent the spread of the ailment. This is satisfied that NICE reports showed that HIV prevalence in the country dropped from 2.8% to 1.4% amongst adults aged 15 to 49 years, a feat which Nigeria is presently well applauded and with a population of 1.9 million people living with HIV in Nigeria. Over a million of the above figure are currently assessing treatment to achieve viral suppression. This is a concern that with the appreciable control of this epidemic and the increasing expectation of further shrinking is the naked, is the naked truth is the naked truth that the usual funding from foreign donors will equally shrink leaving Nigeria to battle 37 over 37 in funding, the, in funding the management and care of people living with HIV and therefore necessitates putting in place mechanisms to ensure that resources are available for continuity. But I want to advise too that, you know, at this time, uh, when the news broke in those days, government found it very difficult because the drugs were very expensive. Now a lot of these drugs have been subsidized. You know, NACA that came on board in Nigeria, you know, a lot of, you know, international donors came, you know, um, USAID, WHO, UNICEF, all of them made contributions to Nigeria. And the government at that time, too, was very serious because the disease was ravaging our populace. So I still believe that governments, too, must still, you know, continually fund, you know, funding so that we don't have a relapse of the disease, so that our people don't get infected. We have had different demographics, just like he said, in this country. The north, the northern part of this country, the south. In fact, even states where we have found out that the prevalence rate has been very high. I think uh, we don't want to mention those ones now so that you know, they don't get stigmatized. 